I got some updates for, I know what we did last summer, the third movie. Well, I call it the third movie because we all know there's, I will always know what you did last summer. And I don't even count that. I really do not. But for a while, you know, we're, they're trying to get the legacy characters back. Just kind of like Scream 5 did where, you know, they brought back the legacy characters. One died and you got a new young group coming in. Same thing what they want to do for this franchise. But for a while... They were saying that I know we did. I still know we did last summer. Was not part canon. Was not part of this, which is a sequel to the original movie. And the reports was coming out that they're going to ignore the second movie and the third one and just do like a Halloween 2018 effect, where it's the original and everything else does not exist. So this will be a proper sequel to that. Well, according to Critical Overload, he's a really good YouTube channel, guys. Go check him out. He put a tweet out on X or Twitter, however you want to say it. And the director of the movie actually responded back saying, yes, uh, the first movie and the second movie will be canon to this new movie that'll be coming out next year. Cause I know they're gonna be start filming it in, I'm not sure exactly when, I thought it was August, but I could be wrong. I know it's very, very soon when they're gonna be filming it. Um, I already know they're looking at casting and that's pretty soon we're gonna get a whole list of who's gonna be in it. But I know Freddie Prince Jr. has publicly said that he wants to be in this, but they got to get the script right. They got to get everything in line, scheduling, a whole nine yards, but he absolutely would love to be in this movie. Me personally, I would absolutely love to see this. Um, him and, Je I almost said Jennifer Garner, uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I would absolutely just see those two back because Freddie Prince Jr., I the second movie, they screwed him over. I mean, seriously, the whole time in the second movie, he's buying a gun from a pawn shop or he's on a bus. And then the last three minutes, he was in the movie saving, you know, the final girl, his girlfriend. He deserves a lot more. So I hope he comes back in a bigger role. I really hope they don't kill him off. I really do not. Like a legacy character that died in Scream 5. I won't say who because I don't like to spoil things for you people. Um, but I'm excited they're coming back to this franchise. I absolutely love the first movie. It's so iconic, so classic. It's just everything about it brings back so much nostalgia and the setting, the location, the design of the killer with the hook man, you know, that whole urban legend and the cast. One of the best casting you could have ever done, those four people, Michelle, you know, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Freddie Prince Jr., Jennifer Love here, and Ryan Felipe. Like those four at the time, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I really hope they go back to that location and they like go over some original scenes, like locations, um, even checking out some dead bodies like not checking out dead bodies, uh, but I go to the grave site of Sarah Michelle Gellar type deal and just like saying the respects or I don't know, but I really would love to go back to the original movie and relive a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm super excited for this. It'll be coming out next year. I hope you get Jennifer Love Hewitt, but we'll find out. But yeah, that is the update for I Know What You Did Last Summer, the third movie, which is essentially but the second movie is canon. So is Brandy going to be back? That's a really good question too, because I'm not sure if uh, people want Brandy to be back. I know she just, I just saw a trailer a couple of weeks ago of her in this one movie. Um, so she's acting, she's still very active. She still looks great. So I'm cool with it. Maybe not as a big role, but like I did not mind her character at all in the second movie. I did not, that was not an issue, so. If she's back, I'm cool, but not that much. Because that's not why I want to come back to this franchise. It's really the legacy, original characters, the location, the vibe. The, if they can get back to that, absolutely love this.